shell exec. Shell exec execute command via shell and return the complete output as a string. Well, all the program execution functions were executing sh commands via the shell, so I don't know if there's anything new here. But return the complete output as a string, okay? Now, the other function that we used was called exec. Okay, let me go back to that one. Actually, they have a link to it right here. Okay, that one execute an external program. It basically did the same thing this one does, except look here. It returns its output in an array, and you can get the return or the value. What is this, int? Okay, return var. You can get the return status of the executed command. Okay, and then it returns a string, which is the last... Um, the last line from the result of the command, okay? So it does some particular things, okay? So this one also returns a string, except all of the output is gonna be in the string. And it takes just the string command. And it says here, this function is identical to the backtick operator. Okay, the backtick operator, that's not a function, it's an operator. And it's basically executes stuff this way. And then returns the string of the, of the shell output, okay? Return value, the output from the executed command or null if an error occurred or the command produced no output. Note, this function can return null both when an error occurs or the program produces no output. It is not possible to detect execution failure using this function. The exec function, however, should, if you use that one instead of this one, should be used when access to the program exit code is required. All right, that's all there is to it. Here's a little example. Okay. All right, so that's it.